Welcome back to Pathologic. It's about 7 p.m. on day 11. I've been searching for Maria Kena to give her the beads from Capella, but uh, I'll get to exactly what happened with the search in a minute. Before that, while searching for her, I found what appears to be the Execution Squad, which is, if you remember, one of my other side quests, the Execution. Yeah, they've rounded up some people from the Bone Stake lot. And they're about to execute them, and I need to stop them because they are mutineers. These people staging this execution. It was not ordered by General Block. So I'm going to go stop them. Um, just one other thing I want to mention is that along the way I traded with some children. So I've gotten some pills, uh, some immunity tablets, and some more Meridorm. I think maybe even an extra bandage as well. So let's see if I can get my immunity up to something good. Okay, pretty much maxed. Yeah, seven Meridorm. It's a pretty good amount. Okay. Hmm. I'm pretty sure trying to talk with them is pointless, and General Blog did tell me that I am allowed to shoot on sight, so I'm just gonna do it. Hmm. Since bullets can travel through multiple people, I'm actually gonna see if I can line them up, and perhaps take out all four at the same time. Come on. Come on. I'm worried. Oh god! Yeah, I was worried I was gonna activate the script and I did. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Do I try to line up the shot again or just start shooting from behind the rock? Unless I kill them all in one hit, it's not gonna work. They're gonna kill me. So I'm just gonna start shooting from here. I'm using the right rifle, aren't I? Yeah, this is the good one. Okay, one more to go. What, do you want to talk all of a sudden? Quickest draw in the West. I thought he wanted to talk. You know, you killed all my buddies. I'll give up some information or something. That was literally instantaneous. <sighs> Alright, you're all safe. Oh my god, they have good stuff. Apparently their diet consists entirely of crackers. Is that all of them? I feel like I didn't loot one. Oh, there we go. I'm actually gonna eat those crackers. You have my most sincere gratitude, Doctor. If you took a minute longer, we would have... Oh, what is there to say? Are those your children, getting in the Commander's hair? Uh, yes, very possibly. I hope nobody hurts them there. This sentence makes no sense. They don't. They... they don't what? I think that means to say they won't be hurt. The news of your execution was a surprise for the general. Let's see. You're a skillful fighter, lad. Even together we couldn't do anything. Just went ahead like lambs to the slaughter. How many of you were here? Four? No, way more. Twenty or so. Only four of us are left. And if not for you, there would have been none. So they already killed 16. 
So it has begun. The army is out of control. Oh, good sir. Oh, kind, considerate sir. You came just in time to wipe out the tormentors. How can we thank you? There will be a chance. As for now, go home immediately. So what? They don't have no guts to go against our lot? They can't shoot them bullets at all, huh? They're only flouting them guns to scare us, but that's no use. <laughs> the dialogue in this game is just amazing sometimes. You just didn't get a chance to check it for sure, you blockhead. Oh, you blockheads. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, that is a very natural construction of a sentence. Okay, so yeah, what happened with my search for Maria Kena? Well, the place that I originally searched for her, the place I originally thought she might be, even before I really even needed to find her and give her the beads, was up here. And indeed, it even says Nina Kena's tomb. And as far as I know, that's where you're supposed to find her. Uh, I even looked it up in the walkthrough just to make sure. And yeah, that's where you're supposed to find her. From what I can tell. But she's just not there. For whatever reason, she is not there. She wasn't there when I checked before, and she isn't here. She isn't there now. Even after getting to this stage in the quest. So it's not like I just needed to actually get the beads for her to appear. No, she's still not there. So I don't know what's up with that, but I can't do anything about it. I don't know if maybe they changed it in the, uh, you know, in the remake. The Pathologic Classic HD version of this game. Perhaps it's different. Because all the information you find out online for walkthroughs and stuff, almost all of it's from the old version of the game. So perhaps they've changed it or something, but this is where all the all the people waiting outside of her house say that she went to the tomb, which is there, and this is what all the walkthroughs say to go to, so I'm just going to hope there will be another opportunity to give her the beads, perhaps tomorrow, or maybe late tonight I'll receive a message or something. I don't know. The thing is, though, I even tried sleeping. I actually tried sleeping for a very long time, until about two hours before midnight just to see if I would get a letter from her, and I didn't. I did get a letter, but not from her. So, as far as I know, this is all I can do for the quests for today. Only thing I'm going to do now is just go find a bed and sleep until I get that letter that I just talked about. So, I'll be right back. Well, I'm almost to a bed, and along the way I found some children. Which surprises me, because... The streetlights have turned on, which means it's technically nighttime. I thought children didn't come out at night. Maybe it's 9 p.m. that's technically nighttime, so I think I've got about 30 minutes. Ooh, I'll take those. I've got so many things to trade, I might as well just buy everything, really. And I really, really, really want Panacea. Please, dear God, have Panacea. Please have Schmouter. No Schmouter. I seriously doubt I'm going to ever find any more Panacea. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep in Lara's place. Another child! Come No, don't run! What are you running from? Oh, a little girl. I think the little girls are the only ones I've actually seen that ever have Schmouter. Please have Schmouter. Ah, no Schmouter. Any other children? Check for some food. Don't need food right now, but probably gonna need it soon. Fresh fish, no. Nope, not drinking milk and fresh fish is a waste of money.
Yeah, I believe the message is from the Changeling, which is why I'm going to sleep at Lara's place, because she's pretty close to where the Changeling is. At the town hall. By the way, how have you been, Lara? My lips are too dry. I'll see if I can find you some lip balm. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm pretty sure I'm going to receive the letter in four minutes. Let's just patiently wait. So how's everyone doing out there? Having a good day? I hope so. We should get a letter in about three seconds. What time is it? I'm impatient. <gasps> okay, three more minutes. Do, 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 do. Look at this pretty fire. Look at this scary painting of the polyhedron. And I didn't get the letter. <laughs> okay, I guess I get it the next hour. I would take Meridorm, but since I'm only going to sleep for an hour, I don't really see the point. There we go, there's the letter. A warning from the Changeling. Your nemesis is breathing down your neck. Look behind you, before it's too late. She donned the Mask of Justice, playing skillfully with your desire to uncover the truth. She has abused you, made you a tool, forced you to create more lies. Dark passions and thirst for vengeance are poor companions for people like her. Find me at the commander's headquarters if you wish to know more. It is sad to see how easily she has tricked you. What with me thinking you are a geometrician and a strategist of no small standing. She must be talking about the Inquisitor. Alright, let's go speak with her. doing on food. Mmm, hunger's at about 65% or so. I'm actually going to look for food over here. I don't need it now, but I'm, I am going to need it tomorrow. Oh my god. It's all the food I could possibly need. I think the vegetable smoked meat and dried fish should be more than enough. Well, maybe not more than enough, but plenty for now. The kids are still here. Does that mean the parents haven't made it back yet? Oh. Wait, what did that say? I thought that was the same dialogue that I got last time I talked to him. Good thing I just saved. Gave me bullets for something. I'll buy a gun when I grow up so that nobody can break into our home. Yeah, he said that before. Oh, calm down, pal. I've killed that soldier. And your daddy will come soon. I wanted to shoot him with these bullets. Take them, then. They're for you. Yeah, you'd better hand them over to me just to be safe. Pistol bullets for my pistol that has a durability of 0%. Cool. I found your daddy. He'll come for you too soon. Would you like to have this box? There's medicine inside? <gasps> is that panacea? Thanks, this is useful. Oh my god, it's Schmouter. Which is basically panacea. Yes! A mix of randomly chosen drugs, mostly antibiotics. Those schmouters are created by children to play plague. The random recipe produced an unexpected result. The powder completely removes the effects of sand plague infection, but severely damages health. It's not quite as good as a uh, panacea, because it kind of almost kills you. But, uh, as far as I know, it has the same effect in the end. As long as you survive it, it cures you. Whew. I feel good now. 
I'm so tired, I might faint. Oh, I have nothing to tell her, do I? Because I've already spoken with her. I guess the letter is just in case you never spoke with her. It's to make you make sure you come and see her. But I've already done it, so... I'll... Yeah, nothing to say. Where are the orderlies? Okay. Well, still good I came over here to talk to the children. It's very good, because the schmouter. I just like that word. Schmouter. Schmouter. If I come across one of the factory workmen, I should probably pay them to, to uh, repair my pistol, now that I've got a decent amount of ammo for it. Just in case, you never know. I'm gonna start making a lot of perma saves, since we're getting close to the end. Uh, I guess now's the time to take all the drugs, huh? I guess three should be enough. I'm gonna sleep for one hour to begin with, just in case I get a letter. Nope. I could go look at Maria Kana's tomb. But she wasn't there before, why would she be there now? Why would she only come late at night, right before midnight? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Nah. I think about three more hours should do it. There we go. Health maxed. Exhaustion. Low. The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. It is not so A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. And we received something. An evening letter from the Inquisitor, day 11. So be it. Tomorrow they are going to pay the full price of their arrogance. Each one of us will keep their word and fulfill their duty. We will appease the higher justice, and in doing so, avenge ourselves. Not one of us is going to act against the truth. Congratulations, Denkovsky. Our elegant maneuver was a success. We took the winnings, and placed our opponents into a position in which they have no other choice but to vanish. The council is tomorrow. Legal considerations are required to be held in the presence of someone serving as a representative of the local authorities. The three ruling families are completely bankrupt, however, so the so-called mistress will attend the council in their stead. She will vouch for our intentions before the townsfolk. Do you have any binding obligations towards the families in power? If so, this may become an issue tomorrow. It would be a shame if you weren't allowed to attend the proceedings. Alas, the law is the law, and I won't be able to do anything about it. Do I have any binding obligations? As far as I know, I don't. I don't know. Is everything I've done for the Canes, is that considered a binding obligation? I don't really give a damn, I'm gonna be there no matter what. And apparently Maria's gonna be there. I wonder if I can give her the beads. Today's quest, this is the last day we have left. The choice has to be made. Oh, fuck. Hi. Don't tell me Lara's sick. Oh my god, she is. <laughs> I guess it's kind of awkward if you sleep in the sick person's house. Huh. Should I give her the schmouter? Should I help everybody, or should I just be very strategic with it? I guess I should help everybody. I'm gonna make a perma save. And, uh, who was on the list of the people I was supposed to protect, by the way? Bad Grief, Foreman, Alexander, Katerina, Lara, Yulia. 
Oh, Lara. Lara the Vengeful. Yeah. Alright, so she definitely needs to be alive. Here. <laughs> we'll cripple them for the rest of their life. We'll burn all their insides along with the plague. Are you sure? Yeah, it'll be fine. She's fine now, right? See? She's fine. If there's enough people like me, the town will stay the same. We'll surrender ourselves to Clara unregretted. A rotten life belongs to the new mistress. From what Lara just said, it sounds like she also believes in the new mistress. Just as little Vlad does. Thank you. I need to live a little longer. There's one more thing that has to be done. My death will not be purposeless now. She still thinks she's going to die. Why? What kind of thing? I am to perform the most precious feat of all, the feat of self-sacrifice. I will do what Simon has done. Every single particle of my body and soul will become life-bearing, bursting with life and granting it to others. There will be no cannon fire. The town will continue to grow. The thread to the future will stretch from the very dawn of time. So she's going to sacrifice her body to somehow stop the cannon? Is this the miracle that the changeling was talking about? But you won't last long. You won't be enough. Consider Simon's fate. We are too few now. But if there's at least a dozen of us... It will be enough for the town to expand further and beyond. Hopefully, the place where daydreams are captured and fulfilled will live to see 200 years more. And how many of those like me have survived? Is that what's going to happen to all the people on my list that Clara wanted me to keep alive? Are they all going to be sacrificed? I don't care. I wanted to save your life, not for the sake of future sacrifices. It's nice to see you. I don't think there's anything more My to say, is there? I guess I could try the other dialogue options just to see what she says. Do you really believe that it can be done? Oh, she says the same thing as before. if anyone else is sick. I'm hoping that only one person a day gets sick. If so, then I think I'm good. Okay, oh. Oh. That's changed. Yes, now we see the full needle of the polyhedron fully piercing the earth to the corrupted chamber below. So eerie. Disturbs me just to look at it. <sighs> what do I do now? Go to the Inquisitor? Go to the Canes? I suppose. I want to talk to everybody. I want to talk to every single person before the end of this. But I feel like I should go towards the most important players right now, which I think would be General Block and the Inquisitor and Maria. Let's see if Maria's back home. She is. I'm feverish. What can it be? I wouldn't have lived to see today if not for you. Now, if my design works, I will be able to revive the town. 
I'm grateful to you, my love. I'll never forget it. What are you planning to do? The polyhedron will become for the new town what the abattoir used to be for the old one. A hub. A nursing organ. A source of vital power. And the origin of its history. How is it possible? It is a prism. It will refract sun rays, focusing them and inseminating the other bank of the river with its blessed warmth. It will all be about the solar cycle. The spots will shift and move following the laws of every calendar. Are you going to remove the children from the polyhedron? What will happen to it? The polyhedron, the beginning and the starting point of the new town, can accumulate childhood and its own magic. Routes, space, and structures that will stretch from the polyhedron will be able to ignite other flames and people who have left the tower. I don't know what any of that means, I'm sorry. It can accumulate childhood. What does that- what does that even mean? What does it mean to accumulate childhood? And igniting flames- uh, igniting other flames in people who have left the tower, it, does that even answer the question? Is she gonna remove the children from the polyhedron or not? Can it all be truly possible? Can you really do it? I'm not alone. Moreover, I'm not showing you my real power. You're leaving today, aren't you? So remember me for who I was. Remember me not as the Scarlet Mistress, able to grab your life, ignite you, and drag your whole being along, but as a girl with her life hanging by a thread. Don't forget that your destiny hasn't been determined yet. It is still hanging by a thread. My path was... Let's see what the other things do. Who told you I'm leaving? I'm staying here. Let me guess, that's just gonna end the conversation. Yeah, okay. Nothing else. So I'm, I guess I'm just gonna be left with the beads in my inventory. Capella's necklace. I guess, I don't know, did the quest get bugged or something? Like, I really should have been able to give that to her. Let's talk to the other canes and then to the, uh, the Inquisitor. I'm too old. Nothing can harm me anymore. You saved my life, dear doctor. Thank you. My life is crucial to feeding another one. Do not rebuke me for my untimely selfishness. I'll have a chance to put it to good use in the near future. What are you going to do with your life, Judge? Tell me. I've already done what I wanted. My life expectancy was low anyway. Why should I stretch my last days, accumulate diseases, and grow to become a burden for my relatives? No. The best thing I can do now is to give way to my niece. You are fading away quickly, Judge. Life is leaving you. How much do you have left? Not much. But I do not need much. Pretty soon the spirit will find a more worthy vessel than this old body. What about your spirit? What happens to you, Judge? What does my spirit matter compared to Simon's? And it is not going to stay long in the specular trap either. It's not even cozy there. When the new town is founded, Simon will dissolve in it, I'm sure. I admire for your courage, Judge. Yeah, I'm getting like the final words from every person. I guess I really should go speak with everybody. Oh my god. Is the Inquisitor sick?
You are too early. The queens will be deciding upon the fate of the remains of this wretched town at seven o'clock. As for now, the cathedral is closed. Oh, okay, good. She's not sick. Seven o'clock. I'm gonna write that down just in case it doesn't appear anywhere else. 7 p.m. Uh, I'm assuming that's 7 o'clock at night? Or, actually, no, that might be 7 o'clock in the morning. I don't know. Uh, I need to speak to Alexander Block. He's here, apparently? Here? No. He will only arrive at 7 o'clock in the evening. Okay, evening. A person of exemplary punctuality and honor that he is. Then let me see the Inquisitor. We have a lot to talk about before the Council begins. No, Bachelor. You will meet them at 7 o'clock and not a minute earlier. New powers have come into play now. The powers that even a government Inquisitor cannot oppose. We are only doing their bidding. The powers that be? Are they here? What powers? You'll find that out, if every person whose life had been in your hands for the past twelve days has a chance to say a word before the council. Every single bound person. But Ava's dead. She apparently does not think so. This unfortunate girl is the only friend of yours that has really done something for you. You won't ever have to take care of her now. Yet her voice will be heard. She pleaded and spoke for you. How? How did she plead and speak for me if she's dead? Did she leave a letter with the Inquisitor or something? And the others? There are a few lives that you personally are responsible for. If these people are safe and sound by the evening, you will be allowed access to the Council. You will have a chance to tell Aglaia Lilich what you think of her. Okay, so yeah, they all need to be safe and sound by the evening. By the evening, all of them will be well. So yes, I really do need to make sure every single person is healthy. I need to live some more for the polyhedron to work as it used to. Not for myself, but for another soul. Maria will take care of the rest. You saved my life. Thank you. I'll have a chance to put it to good use in the near future. Looking at you frightens me. It seems to me like an unimaginable creature living in a star-filled abyss looks at me back through Victor's eyes. <laughs> I just wanted to say that because it's incredibly creepy. It's like something is pulling my strings. What are you going to do with your life? Tell me. It's simple. I won't be staying here long. When everything is finished and I make sure that my daughter has become the Scarlet Mistress, I'll relocate to Focus. I belong there. But if the town is destroyed, the Crucible will be raised too. Only splinters and heaps of dead stones will remain here. But Focus is not quite a place. It will survive the destruction of the town. You can s you you can how tiny I think I was supposed to say you can see how tiny these houses are. Focus is nothing more than a mere toy, and the polyhedron will be sufficient to everybody. We'll get along well with Simon, and when a new town is designed, we'll dissolve in its features. Okay, okay so you're just gonna go live in the Focus, and everybody's just gonna live there. The town's gonna be destroyed. You're going to design a new town from inside of the polyhedron, and then you want everybody to dissolve in the town. I have to say, your plan kind of concerns me. Between the dissolving all of the population and the whole I don't care if the town gets destroyed, it's a little bit of a disturbing plan. I think I'm officially jumping off of the... the cane wagon at this point. I don't want them to do whatever the hell they want to do. So there will be a new town? Here's how it's going to be. The town on this bank of the river will be deserted. 
A new town will be built on the other bank of Gorkon. A town bigger, freer, and more beautiful. The people who will have found shelter in the specular cocoon will become its new inhabitants. Everything will change for the better. Last question. Tell me about Nina. She was a radiantly beautiful woman. A dark chestnut with an intricate hairdo. Her eyes were deep and of the color of French plum. Her features were noble. Her only failing was the tendency to blow her nostrils, but that was hardly noticeable. They were thin and tight and elegant. <laughs> well, her nose blowing is excusable. <clears throat> what else? She was carefully mining her P's and Q's. She had an imperial deportment. Nina was very tall, and her waist was so thin that a man could clasp it with his two palms. She liked cinnamon and black cherry. Will that be enough? I can see now that she really loved her very much. So I have until 7 p.m. this evening. All right. It's going to be quite a day. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I am going to go around and speak to probably literally every single person. Because I want to make sure I don't miss a single thing.